In suburban Detroit and the northeastern tip of Wayne County, there exist five communities known as the Gross Points. The city of Gross Point Park, Gross Point, Gross Point Farms, Gross Point Shores, and Gross Point Woods. These cities are some of the wealthiest in the entire state of Michigan as well as the entire Midwest, and they're known around Detroit as being the rich area of Wayne County and the rich part of Detroit. They exist as five separate municipalities, but why? The communities we now know as Gross Point began as ribbon farms as it was settled by the French. Ribbon farms were noted for their narrow shape and the fact that they give every single farmer access to the river as the Gross Points are located on Lake St. Clair shores and the Detroit River. However, with the boom of Detroit's auto industry, land along the river and the shores became very high in demand, causing mansions to be built on the lakefront and residents to want independence from the city of Detroit and its taxes. Following increased population growth, Gross Point Township was created from Hamtramck Township back in the late 1800s, I believe. And with that, the first village, Gross Point Village, was incorporated. Today, this is known as Gross Point itself, just Gross Point. The closest to downtown to the suburbs, Gross Point Park started off as the village of Fairview, but in 1907, Detroit annexed Fairview from Bewick Road up until Alter Road. Fearing further annexation and seeking independence from its township, the village of Gross Point Park incorporated itself, and the border remains at Alter Road to this day. In 1950, Gross Point Park reincorporated itself as a city to further protect its independence from the city of Detroit. With the influx of very wealthy residents, as well as very large mansions being built on the river and lake shore, the village of Gross Point was incorporated to evade Detroit taxes and to give independence from the township. However, it was then incorporated as a city, but not before splitting into two cities, Gross Point and Gross Point Farms. The reason the two villages decided to incorporate separately is because they became torn over whether or not alcohol should be legally sold within their borders. Obviously, the mansions being grown in the area were home to many parties, and these parties would cause intoxicated millionaires to cause damage to the homes, making some residents not want alcohol legally sold in their borders. These residents ended up creating the town of Gross Point Farms, which is actually several times bigger than Gross Point itself. The boundary of these two cities was set to be Fisher Road, where it remains to this day. Gross Point Shores was created in 1911 due to the increase in land prices along Lake St. Clair. Gross Point Shores reincorporated itself as a city in 2009, naming itself Gross Point Shores, a Michigan city, meaning that this sign is actually out of date. Gross Point Shores is where you'll find cops parked in the median of the streets. It is where you'll find the biggest houses by far. And it is also the only one of the Gross Points to not fully be within Wayne County, with a small portion of the city located in Macomb County. In 2012, the city of Gross Point Shores, a Michigan city, motioned to leave Wayne County and join Macomb County as Macomb County has much cheaper taxes than Wayne County for properties and for sales. However, this amounted to nothing because transitioning a city from one county to another is a lot more trouble than it's worth, even if it means evading property taxes for wealthy millionaires that can afford it. The youngest of the Gross Point suburbs, Gross Point Woods, was incorporated as the village of Lockmore in the year 1927. However, in the 1930s, then president of the village, Lockmore, Jules DePore, decided that this name was stupid because Lockmore had been incorporated from the remainder of Gross Point Township. He worked tirelessly to get the name changed, and he decided between Gross Point Woods and Gross Point Heights, and in the end, his efforts proved successful, leading to the fifth and final of the Gross Point suburbs, Gross Point Woods. Unlike the other Gross Points, Gross Point Woods was mostly built in the mid-1900s, causing its architecture to look much more like a traditional American suburb than a wealthy retreat for Detroit executives. To this day, Gross Point Woods remains the least affluent of the Gross Point communities, though it is still significantly more affluent than neighboring Detroit. Today, Gross Point itself is considered the downtown of the Gross Point communities, and while all five cities have their own mayor, council, city government, and police force, the five communities culturally act as a unit rather than a fragmented group of similarly named cities. So, let's recap. In 1848, Gross Point Township is created from parts of Hamtramck Township. Gross Point Village is incorporated in 1880, and in 1891, Detroit annexed as part of Hamtramck Township, creeping up to the border with Gross Point Township. In 1893, residents of Gross Point Farms and residents of Gross Point disagree over whether alcohol should be sold in their borders and split, and in 1903, the village of Fairview is incorporated from the southwestern portion of Gross Point Township. In 1907, Detroit annexes Fairview from Bewick up to Alter Road, and fearing further annexation, Gross Point Park incorporates as a village. In 1911, Gross Point Shores incorporates as a village, and by 1926, Detroit has annexed the remainder of Hamtramck Township. In 1927, the remainder of Gross Point Township incorporated as the village of Lockmore, and in 1931, Lockmore annexed the Stanhope Allard Strip. In 1936, the village of Lockmore changed its name to the village of Gross Point Woods. In 1934, the village of Gross Point incorporated itself as a city, followed by Gross Point Farms in 1949, and Gross Point Park and Gross Point Woods in 1950. In 1951, Gradiot Township became the city of Harper Woods, and in 2009, Gross Point Shores incorporated itself as Gross Point Shores, a Michigan city. In northeastern Wayne County,
through Wayne County, Michigan, a, sur a suburban part of Detroit, which is a French style of farm, noticed for its narrow, narrow shape. But in 1907, Detroit annexed Fairview up and from Bewick. As mansions were being built in the Grosse Point Township, you see, mansions would, you know, prime due to the increase in land prices along the St. Clair Lake. In 2012, however, then president of the village, Jules de Poré, council and city government, the unit, the cities act more as a, well, all five cities have their own mail. 